Could a murder mystery be solved? Prosecutors and police think they know who killed Dana Hayes. Her estranged boyfriend, Terrence Coulter, has been charged in her death. CBS 2 Suzanne LeMignot was at the Markham Courthouse where the charges were announced. She joins us live now from the newsroom. Suzanne. Rob, Terrence Coulter has been charged with first degree murder and concealing a homicide in the death of Dana Hayes. Her family says Hayes was a victim of domestic violence throughout her more than decade long relationship with Coulter. How does this feel today to kind of have this sense of closure? I mean, it, it, it feels wonderful to have closure because, I mean, it's been going on since January 25th. And this is just the beginning. Dana Hayes' brother, Dorsey Hayes, talks about the murder charges filed against Terrence Coulter. Coulter was Dana Hayes' estranged boyfriend. Coulter had been charged with trying to murder Hayes back in 2007. He stabbed her more than a dozen times and left her for dead in an alley. In that particular attack, she was actually slashed across her throat. Hayes survived and filed an order of protection against Coulter. If she had an order of protection in place, what are some of the other things that you think she could have done? She was working with our office and uh, we did offer her extra assistance. She didn't uh, really uh, make herself available to all of that was offered to her. And I think what's important uh, with uh, domestic violence victims is that sometimes it takes a lot of convincing to get them to the point to accept that help. Hayes was about to testify against Coulter when she vanished. We allege that Terrence Coulter murdered Dana Hayes to prevent her from testifying against him at that trial. In January of this year, prosecutors say Hayes agreed to meet Coulter at this South Holland motel. We actually don't know if don't Dana know. went willingly. Okay. You know, no one really knows. We, weren't, we wasn't there, so can't say she went willingly. They were in room 28 here. It was the last time Hayes would be seen alive. Prosecutors say it was in a room like this that Coulter attacked Hayes, strangling and beating her to death. Her body was found in this wooded area in Thornton last month. Her sister, Angel Hayes, feels a domestic violence registry could have helped her sister. Just like they put uh, sex offenders, they should do the same thing for uh, domestic violence people. Hayes' sister also says she'd like to spearhead a movement to make order of protection laws even stronger so they would include a registry. Meantime, Coulter is being held on a $12 million bond, Rob. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.